What up basketball fans, it's Patricia here, I'm your new girl, I'm gonna be part of the crew, working together to provide the best content for you. Okay, it's all been said now, I said hello, hello to you, let's get cracked with the topic of the day. Well, we all know who MJ is, but there was a time, when probably none of us was born, when name Jordan didn't really mean a lot in basketball world. Say what? Yep, that's right. And I'll tell you a story about how this dude nearly died before his name was even known. And it wouldn't even be some random pity death. He got almost killed by a swordsman with a samurai sword. What a F! But back to facts. Bill Glass is a mega famed football player who started to work as minister after his professional football career ended. He founded his own ministries in 1969 and since 1972 have focused on prison ministries, bringing the gospel to inmates across America. When in early 1982 he was planning his tour to prison in North Carolina, he called his mate Dean Smith and asked him if he can bring on an athlete with big name to make his performance more attractive for inmates. And because the mates really matter, and they have to be entertained properly. Big stars like Sam Perkins and Jimmy Black were not available because of their previous deals, so Smith proposed to send a known freshman, Michael Jordan. Michael who? Yep. Glass was so not cool with that, because aside from their rap streets, what was actually making Jordan a guy at the time? I know it's sad, but hey-ho, nobody's history is full of red carpet from the beginning. Then Jordan hit a famous shot in March, and when that summer's ministry rolled for Rayleigh's Triangle Correctional Facility, the inmates were welcoming him nicely and warmly at the exercise yard. And Jordan decked out in his fresh US All Stars warm ups, got enthusiastic props for complete training, a cell block All Star. Glass was relieved. Before Glass hit them with the good word, a martial arts expert from tennis named Mike Crane was invited to intensify the yard's emotion. Jordan stuck around to see the show. And when it came the time for Crane to do his crown-pleasing samurai sword show, he asked for volunteer. The sword trick calls for Crane to chop a full-grown watermelon in half while it rests on the volunteer's stomach. Most people, of course, decline to take a part of the trick, especially after watching Crane, who is a burly sophoner wearing all white martial arts suit with a black belt, making the show with slicing the air with cold steel for a few minutes. However, Jordan was even more shy than everyone else and clearly said a big no to this crazy idea. Crane was not faced. He wore the 300 crown of inmates to his advantage and then began hitting on Jordan that maybe he wasn't quite man enough to handle the job of human cutting board. The 19 year old responded to the challenge just the way you would expect. He climbed up the wooden platform and laid himself back on the weight training bench that had been used in an earlier act and Crane placed the melon on Jordan's belly. As Crane prepared another black scarf and began blindfolding himself, panic Jordan started getting up. Crane held him down lightly between the fabricate and the bench. The brothers in the yard moved closer to the stage. Crane told Jordan to cover his eyes so the seats and other bits of melon wouldn't blind him, but his eyes were shut so tight that it would be enough of protection anyway. Crane drew back his sword and slashed into the juicy melon but his blade traveled a bit far down south, down south baby, and the real thin Jordan's outtiding right hip slowed the blow. The watermelon was torn, but not detached. The crown was now hypnotized and drew even closer to the laid out Jordan. The blade went down for the second time, and now shards of the watermelon were flying all over the stage. Crane knew from his audience reaction that he had managed to divide the fruit. But he had this weird feeling that he might have gone too far. This whack was in the right place, but Crane had misjudged where Jordan's belly ends. After pulling off his blindfold, Craig was making sure his volunteer was okay. 
When he and Glass wiped off the juice, melon, and seeds that covered the front of Jordan's white jersey, Jordan has spotted a tear in the fabric. <gasps> he totally lost it. He screamed at Craig. The warm-ups were Jordan's reward for his first international tournament. So, sentimental value there, of course. We can see his point of anger, but come on, this trick was obviously going to be a messy one, if not even the dramatic one. Anyway, who knows, maybe this near-death experience changed MJ, and this was the moment Jordan was granted the assassin-like killer instinct, a samurai impressed, his abilities into basketball player, and the rest is history. <laughs> That's a dope story, yo.